Okay, we're going to do the top five hurlers in the country, and this is going to be pandemonium. As ever, we don't talk about it beforehand. We don't try and sort of tee each other up to make it nice and quick. Uh, I presume you're expecting that we'll be all over the shop with this. Uh, yeah, pretty much. The one question I'd ask straight away is, right, so Dara Burns was hurdled year in 2022, but will not be playing the opening rounds of the league with Limerick in 2023. So, while he was the best hurler in 2022, is this like, you know, with a view to 2023? Like, if he's not going to play the opening rounds of the league, are we really going to see him at his best uh, in the league as well? So, I'm wondering, like, is it, a, is it as simple as having him up there? Or, like, you know what I mean? It's a difficult kind of a question, I think, yeah, that you have, we kind of have to answer. Well, do you remember last year when we, uh, like, Keane Lynch was the best hurler in the country, but at the start of 2022, he was carrying an injury, so we kind of agreed that it was going to be tough to have him at number one. That's true, yeah. That's true, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so if he's not there, it does kind of take away from him a little bit. Like, he's definitely up there in the top hurlers in the country. But, yeah. Is there anyone that you're thinking that absolutely have to be in this list? Uh, Grode Hegarty? Grode Hegarty. And to be honest with you, if I'm thinking about... One thing, it's one thing having to be in the list. I, like, I probably nearly have him up at the very top of it, nearly. Um, if not one, probably two. Um, and just because you know he's going to be playing throughout the league as well, is the last performance we saw him give in a Limerick shirt, he scored 1 5 in an All Ireland final, um, delivering one of the greatest final displays of all time. So, he's definitely. Definitely right, right up there for me. And if you're looking at, obviously, Keen Lynch is on the comeback trail as well. Um, and he didn't really play in 2022 for Limerick, bar you know a couple of games here and there, and played very, very little championship and didn't talk out for the All Ireland final. So I'm not sure if we can have him in the top five realistically. I think we both know he's right up there, but yeah, I, I, I don't think we can have him in there just now. No doubt he'll fly up this. Um, okay, so who else goes in here? We'll, we'll have Grode Hegarty in at number one at the moment. Look, we, we've room to change our minds here if we like, but right now we're happy to. So I put Callanan in at number two, yes? <laughs> just uh, just quickly, if you go... The greatest to... modern goal scorer in Hurling. Yeah, he is, yeah. Uh, he's also coming back from a serious injury as well and played no championship last year. So I yeah. think the top five might be it might be a big departure to put him in the top five. What other Limerick players deserve to be in the conversation here? Burns obviously deserves to be in the conversation. I'd say probably Sean Finn uh, as well. Uh, Aaron Galan, based on form, deserves to be in the conversation too. Uh, outside of that, who else are we thinking? Mm, Hannon's pretty good. I mean, Flash here yeah. says Dermot Burns won Nash 2. Hegarty three, TJ Reid four, uh, Owen Kelly five, and a fifth Keen Lynch would more than likely be number one. Michael Nolan says Keen Lynch one, Tony Kelly two, Owen Cody three, Grode Hegarty four, Fiona Mackesy number five. So uh, I'm presuming this is a Kerry man. Joe Butler said one would also have Adrian Mullen in the top five. Owen Cody also needs consideration. And David, who isn't given a surname, says Tony Kelly one, Keen Lynch, Grode Hegarty, Oshin Mullen. And Dermot Burns. Oshin Mullen, who's now playing in the AFL, the, the Mayo man, who I don't know if he's ever picked up a hurley. So, yeah, uh, might, he might have been thinking of Adrian there, I'd say. Um, I would definitely have Adrian Mullen in this conversation, I'd have to say. Um, if I'm looking at Kilkenny... Would you have him ahead of TJ Reid? I would going into 2023, yeah. I would, yeah. realistically, because I think... Like you're thinking, I think with Mullen, you're looking at a player that can... Like, he's hitting crazy heights. And I know he missed the, the club final... Uh, he's hitting crazy heights, and yeah, like I think he could become Kilkenny's most important player. Like he was probably one of their most important players last year. And was in the hurler deer conversation maybe before the final. I think he scored three points in the final, but was still relatively quiet by his standards. Mm. Um, if we're looking at a Kilkenny player in there, I would probably have Adrian Mullen in that conversation. And you know, so would I as well. But I, I'm still not entirely sure if that puts him in the top five. So, is there anyone else from the the Limerick side of things where you're like they definitely have to go in? Like Keen Lynch would 100 percent be in here if he was fit and we saw a run of games. But I just have, right yeah. now, Dermot Burns um, has to be in the top five. I just, I suppose, what I was talking about was I just couldn't have him at number one going into 2023. I'd probably have him in around three or four. Probably, yeah, three or four. I would say that's just off off the top of my head. Okay, well, we'll throw him in there in a second. First, we'll decide who's number two. We're like, are we still going with Tony Kelly? Uh, All Ireland semi final aside last year, obviously had a had a brilliant year. Uh, we won't tie ourselves down to two, three, or four. Are, like outside of Kelly, is there any other player pair in a top in the top five conversation? Mm, no, 
I mean, Shane O'Donnell was brilliant last year. I would have said the best player. Uh, David Fitzgerald good at times. I thought Ryan Malone was excellent and probably should have got an All Star. Um, sorry, not Ryan, Ryan, Ta- Ryan Taylor. Ryan yeah. Taylor. I'm mixing him up with my cooler club mate, Ryan Malone. Um, I always mix up those surnames for whatever reason. Kyle Hayes, uh, last year, outstanding in the final and semi final. Do you know what? He's probably not far off the mark here either. No, Hayes definitely deserves to be in that conversation too. Um, and the flexibility. Like, where did he play this year? Um, I suppose it'll depend on who. Well, they full have forward at times, centre forward. Oh, sorry, yeah. where will he play this coming year? Yeah. Like that, his, I think his best position is wing back, and I think. They have the most formidable half back thing in the country when he's half back, but I don't know if they're going to be able to afford to play him half back. Um, and it'll depend on who's available, who's not available in injury wise and things like that as well. But his, um, yeah, of the three Limerick fellas, yeah, bit, and based on last year's form, I would have his in the top five as well. I probably look, Dermot Burns is the reigning hurler of the year, but if you were to give me the option of one of the two to be in the half backs next year you can't really leave Freeze out of it and that adds a lot to Burns as well but like if you were to just go with open play and I had a choice between the two I'd probably go with Hayes he's a brilliant defender as well and obviously he's devastating going the other way so I'd nearly have Kyle Hayes in this top five uh, I would have been top five but I probably wouldn't be pushing Burns out of top five either to be fair <laughs> Um, okay, well, let's let's go through some of the other counties and we'll circle back to uh, just a couple of people here. Uh, Aaron Glenn has to be in the top five, arguably Limerick's most important player. Grodo Grakon says Tony Kelly, TJ, Grod Hegarty, Dermot Burns, Kyle Hayes. Uh, All Ireland semi final taints any Clare players. They did absolutely implode on the day. So let's cir- circle around the houses. Is there any Tipperary player in here at the moment? I'll let you answer this one. Uh, no, I don't think so. Um, been honest. No, don't think there is, to be fair. You, re- you really are scum, aren't you? <laughs> well, we're talking about top five. Um I don't I don't think so, but answer is there is there a Waterford player in the conversation? Wait Jesse now, let's Hutchinson. come back to Carl Barrett though. Ah, uh, Shane, I know, but come on, we're talking about top five in the country. Like, you know, is he like if we're like a, you couldn't put Carl Barrett in the head of, of Sean Finn, like at the end of this season now we'll we'll come back to that. Okay, that's fair. No, I've absolutely no problem with that. And you know how highly I rate him anyway. But I just, no, I couldn't have him. I couldn't have him in the top five now. Uh, very divisive character. A very divisive character. If if you're not Tipperary, you probably don't like him. If you're Tipperary, you absolutely adore him. But if he's on your team, you'd love him because I just think he's, yeah, he's such a kind of fiery defender and he's brilliant on the ball and that as well. I wouldn't have him in this conversation personally. Um, other Tipperary players, mm, not really. Uh, no, no one really jumping out from a Waterford point of view. If we're looking at top five, Ozzie. Austin Gleeson deserves to be in a conversation. Daisy Hutchinson deserves to be in a conversation. Uh, Stephen Bennett, Tyke Deborka, probably in around there. But again, but if you were to pick one only, I'd be saying Ozzy. If you were to pick one only, I'd be picking Daisy. I think. Really? Yeah. Even, like. Last year in the championship, when Waterford were terrible, Desi was excellent. He definitely was, but so was Ozzy. And when they got to the All Ireland final a couple of years ago as well, he was brilliant. So I don't know. I think over the years, his body of work, I, I'd be giving it to him. Desi's three years at inter county, he's been nominated for an All Star all three years. And I'd say last year was probably his best year, and he was brilliant with Valley Gunner as well. Um, I, I still don't think he'll be making the top five, though. Okay, get your comments in, let us know, Ozzy or Desi. Uh, let's see, Cork. Is there anyone in Cork that you'd look at for this? And I'd be probably saying no. Mark Coleman's injured. Um, Patrick Horgan is probably coming towards the, the latter stages of his career. Now, if it's given on his day, it's brilliant, but again, a little bit inconsistent. Um There's lots of talented players, but there's no one in the top five. Let's just call nah, it a there's, there's, no, there's nobody in the top five, no. And who else do we have to pick from? So we've gone through all the, the monster uh, teams there. And yeah, uh, it's basically Limerick plus Tony Kelly plus maybe Ozzy as well or Desi, depending on that. Let's go through, let's quickly spin through um, Leinster. So Wexford, there's re- some really good players there, but I don't think we're probably going to shortlist anyone here, are we? No, Lee Chin was brilliant last year and got nominated for an All-Star again. But again... Probably he's a bit off. He's a bit off. You know the bar is set pretty high so far. Um, mm. It's a very high bar. Um, you're talking about Galway and Conor Whelan is mentioned there. Again, he'd be in the conversation. Parik Mannion would be in the conversation. I'd say too. 
Carl Mannion on his day. Joseph Cooney had a good year last year. But if you're looking at it, I'd say probably Whelan and Whelan and Parik Mannion are the two you probably be mentioning again. Do they come into the top five? I put Connor Whelan very close to being there. And like even the way he played, I know it was only the, the Walsh Cup there recently against West Mead, but I was like, this guy's moving well. He picked up a bit of an injury, but he'd set up four or five goal chances from centre forward. Uh, so Jay Cav ninety two was asking, would we have him in the conversation? It's gas. You were making a play for Cottle Barrett, yet the the player who kept Connor Whelan out of the last twenty minutes of the All Ireland semi final completely was Sean Finn, who is listen. I know you can't have all Limerick lads in there, but you can't you can't you can't have your cake and eat it. Like I I would be determined to do just that. <laughs> So, uh, okay, so Conor Whelan is the one that we might have in the conversation there. I don't think, like, Dublin have some very uh, some very good players there, but I'm not quite sure anyone will get in the shortlist, will they? I don't think so, no, uh, realistically. And, you know, the likes of Crummy and that, some of their better players, he's obviously not available. Donald Burke has the potential to get up to those, you know, close to those yeah. heights maybe, but we're going to need maybe need to see a bit more. Um, coming back to Kilkenny, like, I'd be making, I would be making a strong play for Adrian Mullen to be in the top five, I have to say, even if it's at the tail end of the top five. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't Ahead of Owen Cody. Like, so, they're, like, TJ Reid is obviously, and obviously was nominated for Hurler of the Year, but we are starting to think the transition is happening here, and it's probably one of those two lads who's going to carry the baton. Now, they've lost some players this year, so will Kenny be as strong? They probably won't be far off it. But um, if you, you were, you'd take Mullen out of the two of those anyway. I would, yeah. I think he's just unbelievably consistent. Um, very, very consistent. He's obviously he won the hurt young hurler the year before Cody won his two. Um, he's an all star last year. I just think he's taken on the mantle of mm. uh leader, really. Uh, and yeah. Cody could step into that and as captain as well. But I, I like Mullins' form of Baddy Hale. Like, you remember against Kilmacud, like he's just he's like a one man wrecking ball going around the place and he can literally do everything. Do you know what I mean? He can play, he can drift back into the half-back line, he can play midfield, he can even play inside if he has to, he can obviously play anywhere in the half-forward line too. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd be pushing for him towards the, the tail end of the five, probably at five, I would say, if I, if I yeah. had my way. Okay, and who, what other teams do we have to talk about? I'm not really sure too many of the other teams beyond that are going to feature, are they? Not really, when you're looking at the cream of the crop, like, you're you're going to be, you're, t- you're talking the top five, you're looking at hurlers, hurlers of the year, all stars, uh, multiple all stars. Realistically, man of the matches in all Ireland finals. Um, yeah, I think we've a, we've a decent we've a decent uh, shortlist assembled. Uh, morning, lads, says James Daly. TJ TK D Burns, uh, G Hegarty, Aaron Galan. Notable mentions: Connor Whelan, Ozzy, Adrian Mullen, Donald Burke, and Adrian Mullen a second time. So really hot on Adrian Mullen there as like we both. Like JJ Okocha, so good they named him twice. Yeah, uh, Barry Nash, Adrian Mullen is a definite. Says Pwell seventy four. I've done a bit of a solo run there and I filled out the page, and I'm interested to see your reaction to this. Um, I can't have Dermot Burns not in the top five. Okay, but obviously I've thrown Aaron Galan in there, even though we haven't really talked about him that much. I just think of all players, he's so crucial to how they play. Like they've had wing backs out, they've they've replaced it. They've taken Keen Lynch out of midfield, they've fixed it. They've taken Keen Lynch out of the team altogether and won in All Ireland. They've lost their full back, they've changed it. But if you take the tip of the point out of the team, I'm just not sure they're quite the same. Yeah, I don't I don't disagree with that point. If you're looking at who is the most important Limerick player? Like he's probably the one they could not do without. If you get me, and they've been able, like imagine say they were able to do without in inverted commas Keane Lynch last year, but he's the at the apex of the attack. Um, I I think it's I think it's ridiculous to uh, I, as much as I was pushing for Adrian Mullen, I do think it's ridiculous to have a top five without Dermot Burns in it. So if it's a case where Burns has to go in a five instead of Mullen, I'm okay with that. But I don't think we can have a list without the current herd of the year on it. Again, a guy who's won three All-Stars in a row who hit 30-something points in last year's championship. Um, so, But I, I, won't, uh, I won't disagree with Galan. I should probably jig it a small bit. I would probably have Burns higher up maybe than five. Um... So you're booting Mullen. That's what I'm hearing. And I and I was the one stumping for Mullen, but uh, I 
your Galan point, I, I won't disagree with you there because I just think he's crucial to he's crucial to everything that they do. Okay, so come on now, you want to jig it around. What way do you want to jig it? <laughs> We're getting jiggy. Um, there's a lot of messing has to go on here, uh, moving <laughs> things around there, an awful lot of messing. Um, I I think Burns no at five. I think Burns at five is even harsh. Um, let me see. Uh, I'd probably have, I'd probably have Hegarty at one, Burns at two, Galan at three, Hayes at four, and Kelly at five. Just that's that's an amount of jigging. Yeah, but that's a lot of that's a lot of messing now. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if I can do this smoothly. Did you say Burns at two? Burns at three. Oh, Burns at three, and then what way did you say? Yeah, exactly as it is there now. Yeah, that's that's not a bad five. Jesus, the first four are all um, Limerick, which I suppose stands to reason, doesn't it? The first four are li all Limerick, and three of them are absolute giants as well. Yeah. Okay, James Daly says, my retired top five players, Kieran Carey, Ken, uh, Ken McGrath, Tommy Walsh, Henry Shefflin, Brian Whelan, mentions to Sean McMahon, John Milan, Brendan Maher, and Ollie and Joe Canning. Kelly at five, go away, says Ace, Ollie 180. Give us your five. Give us your five in order. <laughs> we're, ha we're happy to hear it. Would a goalkeeper make the top five, e.g. Murphy or Quaid? Jeez, do you know what? Quaid deserves a mention. Uh, he does deserve a mention. We could listen. We could have went down through the whole Limerick team. I think it's very tight between between Quaid and Murphy for who's the best keeper in the country. Um, yeah, I think it's getting it's get probably getting closer every year just because of Quaid's uh, distribution. And I I'm fascinated to see what sort of license Murphy is given under Derek Ling now. Will he be allowed? I'd say to do what he wants to do. You know, as he sees it. Okay, so just to recap on that, top five hurlers heading into the 2023 season, Grode Hegarty, number one, Aaron Galan, Dermot Burns, Kyle Hayes, and Tony Kelly. So four from Limerick and one from Clare. Yeah, I, look, I see, I agree, Kelly should be in Mullen and Port for Kilkenny. Look, we, we both think he's a he's an excellent player. There's a lot of lads who are probably unlucky to miss out here. Will, 